Hello, welcome to IYOGS International's video lesson. Today, you are going to learn about the use of a whirling hygrometer. The whirling hygrometer is also known as a sling psychrometer, and it is mostly used by coating inspectors to record the air temperature, relative humidity, and dew point. The hygrometer is comprised of two thermometers, which has one of the bulbs covered by a wick. The bulb covered by wick is known as a wet bulb, and the uncovered bulb is called the dry bulb. The instrument also has a reservoir. Before start using the hygrometer, a bit of preparation and precautions are needed, and these involve the following. Check that the wet bulb sensor is covered entirely by the wick. Fill the reservoir and saturate the wick of the wet bulb entirely with water. Several minutes may be needed for total saturation of the wick. Avoid touching the wick, because doing so may leave oil or dirt behind. Keep the dry bulb entirely dry. Be ecologically friendly by not whirling the hygrometer in direct sunlight or near the heat source. The correct technique for using a hygrometer is Face the wind and hold the handle of hygrometer well away from the body. Whirl the hygrometer rapidly and after 30 seconds stop the motion and quickly read the wet bulb temperature. Go back to whirling the hygrometer for another 10 seconds and then read the wet bulb temperature for the second time. Continue this system of whirling until three successive readings are the same or the wet bulb temperature becomes stable. When the temperature stabilizes, read and record first the wet bulb temperature. Next, read and record the dry bulb temperature. While reading the thermometers, keep your body, hands, and any warmer or colder objects as far away as possible from the thermometer bulbs. After the wet and dry bulb temperature is established, a psychrometric table or psychrometer calculator is utilized to ascertain relative humidity and dew point of the air. The psychrometric table needs wet bulb depression value. The wet bulb depression value is the difference between the dry and wet bulb temperatures. Both the dry bulb temperature and wet bulb depression are located on the vertical and horizontal axes, respectively, of the psychrometric tables. The point where the two temperatures cross indicates the relative humidity or dew point. To find the relative humidity and dew point using the psychrometric calculator, study the directions given on the calculator. First, align wet and dry bulb temperatures, then find the wet bulb temperature in the dew point window to get the dew point temperature. For relative humidity, you would have to line up dew point and dry bulb temperatures to find the relative humidity in the relative humidity window. You can also refer to ASTM E337 Method B for a better understanding of the use of a whirling hygrometer or sling psychrometer. Thanks for viewing our video. Now you are ready to handle a whirling hygrometer properly to obtain air temperature, relative humidity, and dew point. If you enjoyed this audio visual, please like it and subscribe to our IOGS International YouTube channel for more updates and new video notices. You can log on to our website, www.iogs.org, to learn more about us or to enroll any training we offer.